a stable build of Lineage OS 16 that is based on Android 9.0 Pi is finally available for the Poco F1, meaning the most widely installed Android custom ROM now offers all the features that Android Pi brings to the table. That includes a tweaked material look, new navigation gesture, digital well-being, official dark mode and much more. This is one of the most stable custom ROM based on Android Pi that I have tested for Poco F1. And the good news is, you can use it as your daily driver. So let's see what are the features that Lineage OS 16 has to offer, how is the performance and if you will stick to the end, I'll be showing a step-by-step -step guide to install this on your Poco F1. Excited? So let's get started. Starting with the UI, everything looks just like stock Android Pie that we saw in Pixel devices. By doing the swipe up gesture, you can access the app drawer. When material design arrived in Android 5.0, it seemed a way for Android to finally catch up with iOS aesthetics. It was a consistent cute look found across Google's apps and services. However, Google Pixel phone have started to look a little too stiff next to some third-party alternatives. Android 9 Pie offers far more color. Feature switches in the drop-down control center which are blue circle rather than plain text icons. It looks more like setting area of a Samsung phone. Is it distinctly better? No, it's just different. The home screen has barely changed. However, Android Pie moves the clock from the top right to the top left, but that's about it. The biggest visual change is seen in the recent app's multitasking screen. The recent apps part is meant to feel much closer to the surface of the interface. This becomes clear when you switch on navigation gestures. It replaces the usual three soft keys with one, although a back button appears next to it when appropriate. One flick up on it from the home screen takes you to the recent apps, a second to app drawer. The app switching screen is now between the home screen and app catalog, not behind or beneath them. It took me a while to get used to of this change, but ultimately it did make me aware of the frequency with which I use app switching. And that's the new recent app page is better than the old one. Moving forward to the performance. In my experience, Lineage OS is an ecosystem so well optimized and enhanced with minute details that it's often hard to believe that I'm running a custom ROM. I mean, the experience I get is supreme in terms of usability and smoothness in performance. It's almost like the phone comes built in with this ROM. The ROM has CM style app drawer but I didn't like that too much, so I have changed the default launcher to rootless pixel launcher that will give you a pixel look with some added features like you can change the icon according to your liking and I'm using Rondo icon packs for those who are wondering. Initially when I installed this ROM I was not expecting this to be very stable as this is an unofficial build. But after using it for just few hours, I was impressed with its stability. Everything like camera, audio and fingerprint is working as they work in a stable ROM. In my usage, I found that the performance is top notch. The UI is very fast and responsive just like a stock ROM and there is no lag while switching between apps. These are the benchmark results for those who are interested. The overall gaming performance of this ROM is also good. I played the Asphalt 9 for about half an hour at max setting and it seems to be doing good. The back slightly get heated after 30 to 40 minutes of continuous gameplay but that's not something to worry about as it's common with every flagship device. Moving forward to its camera which is also working just fine, both front as well as back shooter can click some good pictures but not as good as MIUI camera and during my usage the camera does not crash even once. Thanks to a Ukrainian developer who goes by the name BSG has created a port for Google camera app which works on Poco F1. You can get this camera app by just installing an APK file. The results provided by the Google camera app port on Poco F1 were impressive. However, not all features of Google Camera App works on its ported version. The only main features of Google Camera App which are functional on its port are portrait mode, HDR plus mode and its ability to record videos. Slow-mo video recording, smart burst and zero shutter lag feature does not work on Google Camera port. Everyone loves to have better battery life for their devices. With OEM ROMs, however, it's still a distant dream. Even as manufacturers pack bigger batteries with their devices, they cannot focus on the software side of it. Due to several reasons, Lineage OS ROMs offer a better level of battery life in almost all devices. The main reason is that this ROM does not come with any blotware. There are no background running app or unnecessary services. It means the battery will be used only when it's required. The battery backup of this ROM is quite good. With moderate usage, I am getting about 7 hours of a screen on time which is slightly better on what I was getting in MIUI and that's really good. The Quick Charge 3.0 also seems to be working fine, which I was not expecting as this is the first build. Now let's talk about the changes and features that we will be getting in Lineage OS 16. 
it's clear we spend too much time on our phones and Google wants to address this with a new digital well-being feature in Android P and surprisingly that feature is present in this build and it's working as intended. There is a dashboard where you can see the amount of time you spend in an app hourly and daily which may be beneficial if you just want to keep track of what takes up most of your time. You may not want to see that you have spent 5 consecutive hours on Facebook but hey maybe that realization will get you to take a step back and do something else. It also has an official dark mode option in the setting app. Instead of relying on the wallpaper in order to trigger the dark mode as had been the case up until this point, users can now decide whether to always use dark mode, light mode or let the phone decide for itself. Also it features accent colors which is reminiscent of oxygen OS feature that we get in OnePlus devices. In addition to the new screenshot shortcut, Android Pie gains a new edit feature. As soon as your screenshot is saved, the preview notification will display an edit button. Selecting edit will open a markup tool for you to draw, crop and highlight the screenshot before sharing it. There is no doubt that Lineage OS is one of the best custom ROMs available and the best thing that I liked about this ROM is a large community. So if you are looking for a ROM that offers top notch performance, stability and customization and it still gives you a stock experience, then I will highly suggest you to install this ROM and you won't regret. Now let's see how you can install this on your POCO F1. The prerequisites are first, your bootloader should be unlocked, second, you should have pre-installed TWRP recovery. Now if you don't have an unlocked bootloader and pre-installed TWRP recovery then I'll be leaving the link of that video in the description down below that I made specifically for POCO F1, so do check out. Now first you have to download the ROM zip file and the gapps package from the description down below and put it in the internal memory of your device. Now once that is done, boot your device into TWRP recovery and for that first you have to switch off your device. Now in order to boot into TWRP recovery, you have to press and hold the volume up plus power button until you see this logo. So after successfully booting up into TWRP recovery, the very first thing that I always recommend is to make a backup of your current ROM. Because in case you don't like the ROM or you want to go back to your previous ROM, then just go to restore section and from there you can restore the previous ROM. It's as simple as that. So after backup is done, go back and click on wipe, then advanced wipe. From here select Delvic system data cache and swipe this blue button to right. This will basically wipe the system partition and make your device ready for ROM installation. Now go back and click on mount and select system and vendor. Once that is done, go back and click on install and navigate the ROM zip file which we downloaded earlier and select it. Then click on add more zip file and select the gapps package. Now swipe this blue button to right in order to flash the ROM zip file. The installation will take anywhere between 2 to 3 minutes, so just relax. Once installation is done, reboot your device. The first boot will take around 5 minutes, which is quite normal, so wait till the boot is finished. Now, as you can see, we have successfully installed Lineage OS 16. Now just set up your device and you are done. So guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you do, then do consider subscribing and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any future videos from Extreme Droid. So this is Samir signing off and I'll see you guys in my next one.